The topic of this project is figurative language use and high intellectual ability. The project is the result of the joint research um, between two research teams at the University of La Rioja and their international networks, which brings together over three decades of work within cognitive linguistics and psychology. Results obtained on cognitive linguistics have developed a comprehensive descriptive framework and powerful explanatory tools to account for the role of figurative language in cognition in many languages. Results obtained on cognitive psychology allow us to explain some aspects of differential cognitive functioning and the executive management of high intellectual resources. We have applied the results of these studies to the fields of psychological measure and education. The goals of this project are the following. We want to use figurative language as a complementary measure of high intellectual ability. We want to understand how individuals with high intellectual ability make use of figurative language in reasoning and in expression, and then to apply these findings to education. Why these goals? Very, there is very little research on this topic, and we think that figurative language offers high level individuals with reasoning and expressive pathways that they may exploit differently. And we need to have access to those pathways to understand the different way of thinking of these individuals. Which are the expected results? We want to understand the complex relationship between language and cognition and the differential manifestation of high intellectual ability in human intelligence to develop new measuring instruments to deal with figurative language and to improve cognitive and social progress among these individuals. These are some links to our work. Hello, I am Francisco Beltrán, Professor of Ancient History at the University of Zaragoza. We are a team devoted to the multidisciplinary study of the ancient Paleo-European and Roman epigraphic cultures, and we cooperate with several cultural institutions as the Museum of Zaragoza. We focus on the study of epigraphic cultures understood as organic systems of knowledge and communicative practices that combine language, script and support in order to record or transmit messages in well-defined social and ideological contexts. So we are interested in inscriptions as sources for history and linguistics, but also as social media and in the role in the different ancient written cultures and literacies. We are committed to open science. We want to contribute to the preservation of this important part of the European cultural heritage and to integrate it in the modern European cultural discourse through the cooperation with museums, schools, and cultural institutions and companies. Our team edits the journal Paleo-Hispanica, whose last number is a handbook and introduction to the ancient Paleo-European languages and epigraphic cultures, to which is also devoted the multilingual series LO booklets. The most recent PhD produced in our team deal with Latin epigraphy, epigraphic supports, bilingualism, compound epigraphy, or the transformation of epigraphic cultures. We are members of the networks ELO and Esperia with its relevant Paleo Hispanic data bank. We collaborate in the Corpus Inscriptorum Latinarum and we are involved in projects of basic investigation as ESCO on ancient literacy, but also in projects focusing on schools, museums and citizens collaboration with technological companies in the case of Select and Xforma. Thank you.